Hey there, let's talk about what to do if your instrument tip breaks. First of all, you want to prevent that from even happening, right? So you're going to be inspecting your instruments always. You can see in this image here that about halfway down there is a fracture. So make sure you're looking at your instruments before you use them. Discard worn scalers. And even new instruments can break if they're lodged in a tight area. So just remember one millimeter short overlapping strokes. Management. If it does happen, the first thing you want to do is stay calm. You want to show confidence still with the patient. So this is a very important step. If you see it in the mouth, grab it right away. Get it right out of there as quick as you can. If you don't see it, you're going to, maybe you recognize it a little bit later. It's on your train. You go to pick it up and you're like, oh no, where's that tip gone? Um, anyway, either way, you need to stop instrumentation immediately. You want to remove the suction out because you want to be able to find the tip. So you don't want it to get into the suction. You'll inform the patient. Usually I'll say, just so that you know, one of my instrument tips did break up. I want you to sit up um, and I'm going to have you spit into this cup. If they spit into the cup and you see it, great, you're done. But if they, if you don't see it in the cup, then you need to look in their mouth. Swipe with the gauze in there, in the vestibule, on the lingual side. See if you can see the tip come out anywhere in those areas. If you don't see it there, then you can look in your suction traps because maybe if you were using your suction, it did go into one of the traps. That's where I look next. If I don't see it in, the, in, in any of those places, then I'm going to take a radiograph and I'm going to see if maybe it's in the sulcus. This image here is, is of it in the, in the vestibule. So you want to take, you want to take a look first before uh, you expose them to, um, a, a, before you need a radiograph. Okay. So if that was in the buccal mucosa, if you would have just looked with the little gauze, you would have seen that really easily before you had to expose them to radiation. If it's in the sulcus, then you will, uh, from your radiograph, then you're going to re-instrument the area. If you, by chance, do have a magnetic perio retriever, this is the time to use one. They're far and few between from what I found in offices. So you could use another instrument that's maybe a little bit wider. Um, you want to catch it with some gauze. Usually I'll tuck a little gauze in the area and hopefully it will come out into the gauze. It will grab that a little bit easier. Um, sometimes I've had to push them through with an interproximal brush. I usually go from the lingual to the buccal because I don't want to push it into the lingual for it to fall into the throat. If that still does not work, you might have to do, not you, but of course the dentist might have to open it up, um, do a flap to be able to remove that. If you still can't find it, you took the radiograph and you did all of the above, then that's maybe the time that, not maybe, but that is the time to send the patient for a chest radiograph because they might've aspirated it into their lungs, which then they would need a surgery to remove that. If it's possible ingestion, if they swallowed it, a lot of times they'll wait a few, you know, a few days and then they'll do a post-op radiograph to see if it came through on its own. If not, they might have to do some type of retrieval. Generally, either of those will be at the expense of the office. That's why it's highly recommended that we carry malpractice insurance. Um, if you do find it though, hallelujah, you want to match the piece up with the broken instrument, make sure that all the pieces are there and then make sure you document it, right? You want to do the tooth number and the site, the incident disclosure to the patient that you let them know, signature verification, their response, follow-ups or referrals and any procedure results. So now you know, best of luck. Hope you never have to experience that for yourself.